Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Transport Fever 2 Strategy and Tactics episode uh, 18? Let's go with 18. So in our last episode we uh, we got our uh, lines um, sent up and uh, rearranged here uh, just a little bit here. Namely our uh, train number 6 here. Uh, Mimicon's machine delivery has been upgraded and rerouted. Uh, so now that we have um, this nice little bridge, which uh, on second glance is a little bit janky, I may I may rearrange it, but for the time being it's doing what it needs to do. Uh, we also have two steel trains going here. Um, so our um, our uh, steel mill here is, should be able to get its stuff uh, output and actually carried away, which will mean we will have a prodigious amount of machines coming out here, which is good. Um, we are actually on the cusp of uh, hitting level four here, which is most excellent. Uh, previously, our uh, our only uh, our, our only impediment was steel, but now we've got two st uh, trains here running the steel route and a steel mill that can keep up with them. So that is most excellent and uh, <laughs> oh, it looks like the bad marketing guy is back at it again. We've got ourselves our first plane and it's horribly named. Yes, take to the skies in something named a Junkers. Uh, but that being said, all jokes aside, we uh, we now have airlines at our disposal. It is that time, the 1920s, um, and airlines we shall use. Now, I am going to um, introduce a uh, another new um, uh, a new restriction here. Uh, after seeing um, uh, some some other uh, YouTubers. Um, uh, namely, a spec um, uh, encounter some horrible brokenness when it comes to airport airplanes. The see in Transport Fever One, when it came to airport airplanes, you could only do passengers. In Transport Fever Two, you can do cargo, and you know what? That's broken as heck. That is absolutely disgustingly broken um, because you can just ar artificially choose somewhere super distant and just get paid. Like if we took this 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 uh, forest here and oh I don't know flew it all the way to this sawmill, they'd make the trip and pay us a freaking fortune for it. Um, and. Yeah, just that by itself would would carry the entire company, and it's just it's just wrong, you know. And because you pretty much have a, a not unlimited, but nearly unlimited demand when it comes to cargo. With passengers, you organically need to have the demand there. You actually need to grow the cities in order to have the passenger capacity to make a lot of money with passengers, which is why it's not a bad thing. So I, I am going to restrict myself when it comes to air travel, passengers only. Um, now, that being said, um, I am interested in some passengers here. Uh, so let's, uh, let's take a look here. We've got Passenger Airfield. Um, how much is it? With, how, how big is this thing? Yeah, with three terminals. Um, these things actually rather prodigiously large. Uh, I'm trying to think of a way to hook you up, uh, or well, rather to place you in the first place, um, that actually can fit in here, uh, but still have you be able to walk to You see, I see, I think I see the building here, like that, yeah. So, hmm, this is going to be kind of a tricky placement, not gonna lie. Um, I think actually what the correct answer here is, is we're going to smush these three buildings. We're going to smush all of these roads. I mean, we already wrecked the roads anyway. Now, can we squeeze you in here? 
Probably not. Dang. I did not quite realize how huge these things are. I do wish that these things hadn't built up around here, because this actually would be a, a pretty good airport location. If we did something like this, it would require a monumental amount of destruction of the town here to make this work. Yeah, 16, 7, 11 million dollars construction here. But it actually might, this, this might be the correct answer here. Or, or, we do something like this. We can reroute the track a little bit. And then, yeah, that actually, that actually kind of works. We're going to need to save up for this beast, though. Um, and I'm going to need to repay some loans. So, I'm just planning for the future here, folks. Don't mind me. Uh, now, for our first route that I have in mind for these uh, new airlines, you might be saying, well, Pinstar, why bother with the airlines? You've already got all of your cities hooked up uh, by, via trains for a passenger network. Why, why bother with the, uh, with, the, with the airplanes in the first place? Well, the reason why is there are certain cities that um, are very distant from each other. If we look at Mimicon here destinations uh yeah it can get to everywhere just fine but then you take a look at things like say nolchester um the one guy can make their way there um saint michael not too many people can make their way there boydberg not many people can make their way there joshington not so many people there um so what would it, what my plan here is is um, to fly and eventually build out airports in the four corners of the map. Nolchester, Mimicon, Joshington, and St. Michael's. Um, and then have those four basically send passengers between each other, because those four cities are at their heart the least likely to be able to send passengers to one another. Uh, so the air sort of helps them supplement themselves, and that builds up the total number of destinations uh, figure that we get up here. Like, for example, yeah, we're, we're at a 70%. I bet you we could crank that all the way to 100% and make some good money while we're at it. Um... Because, yeah, we're also at 60% here for the uh, for the machines. Uh, those are still streaming in. Uh, I'm, I'm debating whether or not we actually are going to need that. Oh, yeah, speaking of machines, or rather deliveries, um, I did notice that our, yeah, our local, uh, we, we need a couple more delivery trucks here. Uh, in Nolchester to get the, uh, and we had, uh, we had some new uh, new trucks come out. Um, so I think I'm going to get a couple more of these and get you guys assigned to the uh, Nolchester Bread Delivery Sivu Play. That should help things out because, yeah, we don't want this. We don't want this station to become overloaded. Yeah, it's overloaded. And so we're losing some bread and we don't want that because we want the bread to go to Nolchester. Um, and then, yeah, we don't have to worry about local deliveries here, because uh, Boydberg is just doing its thing. And yeah, we're at 100% supply here, so Boydberg's already growing from that. Excellent. Um, 117. Ooh. Hang on, hang on. We, we might have a, uh, a case to upgrade you, my friend. 117 JC City to Boydberg. That's quite a bit of people. We, um... What, uh, I did upgrade you to the Prusse, but if we're going to add more capacity to you, we might as well upgrade you further. Um, let's see here. Uh, I mean, we could go the PLM, or I could just do a massive re-up re, uh, re um, and make you a, a faster line altogether, with, uh, set you up with a BAD, because uh, this isn't an expensive enough route for an A35. Um, the other thing we could do is just add some six-wheelers onto this uh, and just let it do its, let it do its thing. 
Um, hang on, one second, one second. I want to see how many people are waiting on the other side here to go to um, Boydberg. 74. So we don't want to we don't want to crank the uh, the uh, passenger capacity too high lest we have empties going back and forth. But it still would behoove us to uh, do something a little bit better here. Um, so let's get a replacement in here. Oh, yeah, let's do the bed. Because what the Prusa is, yeah, 121. Bed is a bit more expensive, but not that bad. Um, and for what it gives us, we can get some good capacity out of this. Uh, we might as well fill you up. 119 back and forth. That's not too bad. For a um, 126 capacity. I mean, now that's that's a bit much, though. That's really a bit much. We don't need that much. Um, 84, I think, is a lot more sensible at the moment. And then we can add to you as as needed. Perfect. So now if we let you go, finish dropping your people off, and now you'll pick up 84 people. Hmm. Wait, how come? I guess I guess they had predetermined how many people they were going to pick up when they made the initial stop. Oh well. They'll get you on the backswing. All right, you know what, Fajezzi? Uh, I feel bad for skipping out on you. I just wish there was the demand for the... What? Uh, but... Uh, duh, wah, wah. 118 people trying to go to Mount Aurelius? You know what, Fajezzi? Uh, that's, the, that's the Zephyr of Zephyr. You know what, Fajezzi? I think you just earned yourself an upgrade. Because, yeah, you got that many people waiting for you and you had to leave 53 people behind? Congratulations, Fujezi. You have earned yourself an upgrade. Um, so let's borrow out. Uh, I'm going to give you the full upgrade here, girl. I feel bad for neglecting you on my first upgrade pass. We will make things right. We'll give you a bad engine here and load you up with six wheelers and you know what you're far enough away and there with enough capacity that this will work out nicely for a full load here so cupping enjoy the other the other knock-on effect of doing these upgrades is that um they uh it, it increases it increases the speed of the trips here um which basically means that um, um, you know passengers that couldn't get far enough to a certain city will now suddenly be able to f make their way there, uh, which means we get more destinations, more city growth, and also more total passengers generated on the network. We're up to 80% bonus here with Melanopolis. I love it. I love it a lot. Oh, Mexican standoff. Espen Express, how are you doing? Eh, not quite full, but good enough for government work. I'll take it. Because Espen Express is the other one that I, that I fully upgraded here. And yeah, you're going to soak up all 126. Now, if that is... Whoa, Nelly! We got some more stuff here. The Crocodile, uh, the Dunnerbush, and the Schneider. Um, I'm sure I'm butchering one of those, but let's take a look. Um, maybe I upgraded a little bit too quickly. Hang on, where's the where's freaking train depot when you need one? Here we go. All right, the Crocodile. Oh, our first uh, electric train here. Um, not too bad. 75's a little on the slower side. And look at that freaking maintenance. A million per year? What? Why? Why? Why would I ever do this? I mean, yes, it has a lot of towing power. This is, this is, this is, this is more for cargo than for passengers. I can tell you that right now. The Donnerbusch is just a it's a it's a higher capacity car 
Um, the six wheelers, when the six, uh, six wheelers are sticking around to 1965. So we can do this because, um, yeah, I mean, it's a slight upgrade. I, I have no regrets for pressing the, uh, those others into service. So yeah, um, we still got the Prus. We still got the Prus. 1927 is when we got the Prus. All right. Fair enough. All right, um, our ship, aha, our shipments are starting to fall a little short here. We, we, our towns are not demanding quite enough here. Um, and yeah, uh, Mimicon local machine delivery. We need a, we need some more trucks here. Get you guys. Mikan local machine delivery help us out here and then Mimicon machine delivery the greater one here that's the Zephyra Zephyr that's train six you're already on board you're only going 60 um yeah the I think uh, I think my friend you need uh, you need more or we need more cars or more trains, rather, because we've already got 132. We got more than a full load here. And are you coming back or going? No, you're going. We need more. We need more machine delivery trains here. Simple as that. Because Melanopolis is underserviced. We need. We need more throughput. So what I'm going to do here is we're we're we we've already got a couple of sort of doubled up trains here um so what we're going to do is we're going to double up the double up where this is going to become a thick row of of tracks here um because my whole thing here is we need more delivery trains um actually you know what before i go crazy doing that maybe no no i don't need to worry about the zephyr although how is the zephyr zephyr is the zephyr zephyr keeping up huh did you you did you just leave? Yeah, you just left. Okay. So actually, the Zephyr, if they only left behind 28 people, that's actually not bad in the grand scheme of things. Um, and 109, this will grow larger by the time it gets there. It's actually, the Zephyr Zephyr is in a good place. I, I don't feel the need to tinker with that. This, on the other hand, our machine delivery here. Um, let's upgrade you. you. We need a faster engine. Uh, because if it's bouncing back and forth faster, that's all the better. Um, and not to mention, we could um, we could lengthen our um, our uh, our cargo platform here because we're we've only got the three notches here, but we think we've got four notches back home. So if we uh, if we give our cargo platform a uh, another another notch here which is going to require some uh, um, some demolition here. I'm trying to remember which is... Um, hang on, let me get that. There we go. We got Mimicon machine delivery. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's on that side. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to... I'm going to smush a couple of lines here just to just to draw the station out a little bit. Don't you worry. And actually, while we're at it, we might as well draw the passenger side of things out a little bit more. So if I need to upgrade that side of the house, I can just add more um, passenger lines. So get you, add a thing of tracks. Get you, add another thing of platform. And back to you, more tracks. Um, I don't need to upgrade that uh, that other passenger platform here. But um, I might need to back these off a little bit just to make them make it more sane in terms of plugging them in without too much curvature. Because uh, now that we're dealing with higher speeds, uh, we need to be mindful of that. Yeah. A little, a little patch of slowness is, I won't begrudge. 
That's not too bad. Okay, so now we've got the full 240 length uh, available to us. So when we go and upgrade our machine delivery, not only are we going to be giving it a brand new um, engine, um, yeah, because the PLM ain't going to cut it. Um, I think we're going to give it another BN. We're not going to give it the crocodile because this doesn't go as fast. And also I haven't electrified the whole thing and it's freakishly expensive. I'm just really, really baffled uh, as to what what is the niche on this? Why, why would we ever want this crocodile? I mean, maybe if you're pulling like more than a full station length of worth of cars, but uh -uh. no, thank you. So um, you get to be ad and box cars. And we want 240, 241. Good enough. I, I'm, I'm okay with it being exceeded very slightly. All right, we just need a little bit more in loan to make that upgrade happen. There we go. Now you will be going faster and be able to carry more. Uh, and then, like I said, if, if the Severa Zephyr is falling behind on its passengers, I can just add a few more cars to it. I don't need to double it up because we lengthen the, uh, the station for there. So that's not a problem. Ooh, we've got a lot of people waiting at the local station here. Mimicon R2 local. I think we need. Uh, I think we need another one of you. A shh. So let's get a shh uh, in place here. Get your maintenance set properly. Mimicon R2 local, please. Thank you. Um, and actually, yeah, let's do a little bit more inspections for the rest of our line here. How, um, how's, uh, uh Fujesi Foothiller, how you, how you enjoying the new self? You got 126, you're handling these, these curves just fine. Yeah, you're not going to get a full boat on this side, but I'm, um, it'll help, it'll help introduce more people to the network at the very least. Why are you bouncing between, you're 83, 87, 83... I'm puzzled. Why are you why are you drastically going down? Probably because I temporarily severed one of the lines and, and the calculations got a little confused. Um, it'll probably bounce itself back up again. I I do wish I could figure out like the the sort of the uh, underlying um, things here as far as like how how does the system how does the game model all these different things. Hurry up, people! You're about to miss the tram! You're gonna be. Actually, half of you don't even want to bother taking the tram. Yeah, you can see him just pouring out there, full 120 some odd thing. This tram is. This tram may need to be a little. Uh, yeah, Albert Road, you need to be upgraded, my friends. You both need to be up. Alright, you know what? We can lengthen this without too much uh, opportunity cost here. No no need for you to uh, to get uh, upset. We, 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 we want the passenger capacity, so we're not bleeding passengers. And uh, yeah, we're making our loan back pretty well here. We're almost back to where we started, which in, in the sense of a loan is a good thing. Yeah, not too many people locally want to come come hither, but uh, we're still doing pretty well. I have a feeling there's quite a few people who walk. Yeah, and this is why I'm I'm content with having just this one uh, tram uh, um, going back and forth here, is uh, because there just quite isn't quite enough uh, demand for uh, for passenger service here. 
Right, Mimicon. Yeah, you're you're almost up there. I should be building my airport sooner rather than later, though. Uh, although part of me wants to kind of wait for the the next level of uh, airplane because I have a feeling if we set up an airplane, <coughs> that this is going to be a uh, it's going to quickly be overwhelmed. The lower tech version of it, that is. Uh, let's see, steel mill is doing well. Um, we might need a third iron train, actually, uh, to keep it, uh, have it keep up with this one. Oh yeah, that was the other thing I noticed. Uh, I noticed for a moment that, yeah, we're tapped out. That's our problem. We need more iron. That's why our iron thing is thing. So you know what? Before we end our episode here, it is time to um, extend this. Um, to, to come down, uh, reach out and touch this other iron mine here. Uh, so I'm going to nuke this. And I have an idea for what I want to do here. Um, so, uh, first things first, let's build a... Um, ooh, our style changed a little bit. Let's build you oh, yeah we can just go we can go straight off of the uh... come on come on there we go perfect no I don't want a freaking passenger God dang it Stupid, stupid me. And I gotta take that alone. It's better. Now then, um, what we could do here is the following. We want to keep these things rounding with each other. So what I'm going to do is this. We'll, um, we'll get ourselves some more tracks. Make sure they're drawn nice and widely here. Like so. But then we're going to we're going to do continue doing our double ups. No, we don't need catenary here. That's fangin'. We'll double these up. Like that. Now what I'm gonna do with this, because this is this is gonna require some modification, is we're gonna put a um, a track along this side here. Like so. And we're gonna actually get our platform on this side. We're actually going to be swapping which, pla which platform the iron mine spits out to. Um, and then plug our thing in here. And then down here. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Keep your pants on. You go up like that. And you go down like that. I know those are little slowdowns that uh, could probably be avoided or should be avoided, but hang on. So now we take our route here, the um, Mimicon Iron Delivery. And we're going to do the following. We're going to so Mimicon North. Actually, here we're just gonna we're gonna start from scratch here. So we do we start at Mimicon North. We go down here to Mimicon Transfer, pick up iron here, um, Mimicon North again, um, and then you go all the way up here 
and drop it off to Lower Nemecon. Um, now, what we're what, with the idea here is that you come. We're, we're actually going to be taking most of our iron from the new iron mine, Mimicon Transfer. But if you have all, any free space in your cars, then you stop by Mimicon North and top yourself off. And eventually, once we get enough cars flowing through here, um, both mines will be fully tapped, uh, which is exactly what we want. Um, we don't actually want you stopping at. We don't want you stopping at Mimicon North a second time, now that I think about it. Um, because we want you going just straight through. We only want you stopping at Mimicon North once. Otherwise, it's better for you to just, you know, keep, keep speedy. Keep on speeding. Um, which actually, now that I'm thinking about it... Maybe, maybe there's a faster way. On the on just the return trip, if we do something like this, again, the idea here is speed. We just cut out the middleman here. Yeah, I know we're doing a little butcher in here. There we go. Yeah, that actually works out much better. Uh, which means we can wreck this. Because we can do this. This is going to be a more crowish um, line here. Which actually means we can actually trim this back down to its original its original shape here because um, uh, all, all these extra tracks and all these extra platforms uh, cost extra maintenance which I do not want so we can keep this as a single uh, single line thing here um, then hang on I'll do all the signals and such in a moment Yeah, and then we come here, draw you out to here. You're still a bit confused, but that's okay. Oh, that's because, oh well, that's because this is severed. Yeah, so you're technically, this train is technically going the wrong way right now. So I'm gonna, before I set up any of my signals, I'm gonna let it get into that new station. Or turn around and, and uh, go somewhere else. Uh, let me just reconfirm Mimicon North. Yes, yeah, Station 1. Perfect. Could you do me a favor and... I'm going to do a Send a Depot... All right, you're gonna you're gonna take a mostly uh, empty route here, but at the very least, you're going in the right direction now. And now this thing is gonna have time to fill itself up here. All right, let's get my signals in place because I'm sure these guys are gonna be confused as I'll get up in a moment. Here we go. And yeah, the signals are pretty good down here. I just want to make sure we have a downwards this way. That should be good right there. Ah, you caught me. 
So that was the reason why our iron was slowing down a little bit. It was we were just running out of it here. And yeah, now you're headed for Mimicon Transfer, as you should. So this should help our iron delivery even more. Which I have a feeling at that point, uh, iron is going to overtake um, coal as, um, as, as the, the unbalanced factor here that's limiting our steel production. And then we're going to have to hook up another coal mine, but that's okay because that all gives us money. It gives us money. Um, okay, so I think this is a good stopping point. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya! Aha! See? Vickers Victoria. That's a much better plain name. Now, now I'm a little bit more comfortable getting into aviation. Maybe in our next episode. There we go. This should be a full load here. Almost! Almost full load. I'll take it. But hey, guess what? He's going to stop by the other uh, mine and top off with the two he's missing. Um, so he will eventually come up with a full load. All right, folks. I'll see you next time. Pinstar out.